All right, we're going to demonstrate this, uh, the eye air cannon, uh, being used as a bait launcher. It can be used as a potato gun or a, an air cannon, but we're going to use it as a bait launcher. And the way we've done this is this is, I've seen these demonstrated before where you had to use frozen bait. But all I'm using here is a one and a quarter inch uh, PVC cap with a uh, with an eye bolt in it, and I'm going to use this as a wad. And the rest of this is just a surf rig. Uh, you basically got a flounder rig, but it can be rigged any way. You do have to have a leader from above the wad down to the bottom of your uh, weight to take up the shock, um, the shock of the of the launch. But on here, you could put your hooks, your cut bait, shrimp, whatever you want to do. And the way I'm going to do this is we'll launch, we'll, uh, I'll insert the wad first. Let a little line out. I'll put the wad in first. Now, it just fits in there loosely. And then you have your hooks and your bait. Weight goes right on top of that and goes all the way down. What we're going to do here is we're going to make sure that we're not wrapped around the rod tip where our bale is open. Um, we're going to go to uh, we're going to go to just over 40 pounds, and it only takes a second to do that. We wanted to make sure that you put everything in the cannon before you pressurize it. That way, nobody's in front of it. All your everything's clear, and it's. So what I've done is I'm charging a little less. We're going to go at about 40 pounds. Now, understand this does have dual valves, so they, these valves are released, released really, really quickly. So you can use a lot lower pressure uh, to get a lot, uh, to get an equivalent velocity to some of the machines that have use much higher pressure. Let's see what happens. That was absolutely perfect. Yep, at 40. Absolutely perfect. And that was uh, a good 200-yard cast.